Hi everybody and welcome back to the second part of Sitting in the Power. Um, my name is Danielle, better known as Danielle, the medium in the industry. And if you're watching this bit first, then you will need to watch uh, Sitting in the Power part one in order to be able to do this one, which is a continuation from that one. And you can find that on my channel. Um, but for those who have already watched that one and are ready for the second part, then welcome back. Now, very similar to the first one, it's going to be sort of me talking you through it. There will be music in the background. What I would recommend is, is that you then go away and interpret this and, you know, work with it, you know, in your own way. Some people may want a bit of music on the background. Some people would prefer to sit quietly. I recommend sitting quietly, but I understand that some people may find that a little bit more challenging. So it's entirely up to you. The idea of these sitting the powers is to give you a guidance, to give you an underlying sort of awareness so that we can follow it and that ultimately you can get used to doing this all of the time. So without further ado, let's get started. So of the first one, we want to be sitting in a very quiet place or a place that's you know comfortable for you. And obviously what we want to do is, is we want to be moving the mind to the left hand side. So that's through the movement of the eyes. And once we arrive at the left, welcome to the spirit world. For those who head for the left in the first um, exercise, then welcome to the spirit world. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do now is we're going to start and get used to working with the spirit world. If you're having problems moving to the left, then I would suggest you go back and repeat one step. And then once you have re rectified that, then come back and do this step. But for all those who are now over on the left, what we want to do is, is we want to become aware of this place. So this place is ultimately where you'll do your communications from. This is where we'll find guides. This is where we'll do all of the good stuff that we do for spirit. Now, the, as we're sitting and as we're sort of having our awareness there we need to be picking this awareness up in multifaceted ways so what i mean by this is we need to be picking up through sight hearing feelings knowing smells tastes empathy there's some of the seven across the board now what you should be doing is moving through that range while you're sitting there so if you're not seeing a picture then let's move it to a word if we're not getting a word then let's move it to a feeling if we're not getting a feeling then let's move it to a knowing and what we're going to do is start and build what we call a set of your mechanics. We're going to start and build an awareness with the spirit world. And what we're going to have here straight away is an opportunity to work out what's working for us and what's not. One of the biggest things with mediums, or one of the biggest things that we need to understand is, is how we're working for the spirit world. When we know how we're working, we, we get a great understanding of, of how spirit is influencing the mind, which makes the mind less fearful. And one of the biggest things I've talked about on the channel and I've talked about, you know, throughout all of the time I've developed is the fear. So what we've got to do is get the mind used to what you work as. Now, what I want to say to you is, as you're sitting is, is, is don't force this. You're meant to just be sitting there and all you're meant to be doing is just seeing whether you can see anything, whether you can hear anything, whether you can feel anything, whether you can know anything. And all you're doing is just moving constantly around them awarenesses. And from them awarenesses, you're going to find your biggest strengths and also your weaknesses. Now, there's going to be a continuation on from this one in your job over the next few weeks while you're doing this is to get good at the things you're not good at. So if you can see really good pictures while you're sitting, then you need to be moving your focus to a word, to a feeling, to a knowing. If the knowing's coming now, there's not much knowing, then you need to work there more to be able to pick that skill set up. What we're gonna do over the next four weeks, because there will be an, another aspect to this in about four weeks time, is, is is that by this by that time you should have a good solid understanding of what you're good at and more or less others that are underpinning that and also those that aren't so good but we still have enough awareness to be able to use them if we're doing any kind of communication or if we're trying to work with guides so the sitting in the power is basically in this one sitting in the awareness moving the mind to the spirit world and working through your range 
that's it. Now, what you must do is learn to hold that. So when you move your mind to the left and you get a picture, learn to hold that picture. Learn to hold the word, learn to hold the feeling. What we're doing there is teaching the mind to stay with the spirit world when we're doing our work. So we're not drifting off into the psyche parameter and we're not losing our connection to the spirit world. When we're doing communication, the work, my guides, we always have our connection. And what we have to do is teach the mind that. We have to, the mind has to be learned to do them things. It takes 28 days to build a habit. That's all it's going to take is 28 days to get this. If you dedicate it for 28 days, you've got great chances of getting on to the next step if you can't hold it for 28 days you're gonna have to stay here until you can hold all seven of them ranges for 28 days and not be moved by that you know not to allow you know yourself to be influenced by other things so if you're working just with pictures pictures is all you should be getting if you can get pictures very well and you can't get words you should be waiting there until the words start to come once you can hold them words then move on to the next step which is feeling and then on to knowing your the, the 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 knack here is is to learn to get it and learn to hold it now you should be able to hold this for at least 10 minutes 10 minutes is a good solid awareness now anybody who does platform work or anybody who does church work you gotta be able to hold a connection for 10 minutes 7 to 10 that's the guidelines what we're doing here as we're building this what we're doing is strengthening things out so if you can hold clairvoyance for 10 minutes clear audience for 10 minutes pleasantians for 10 minutes we're already in a private sitting awareness there straight away if you can hold a clear cognelian link for 10 minutes if you can hold an empathy link for 10 minutes if you can hold a smell and a taste we're now into a full demonstration of mediumship so it's important here that we teach the mind this skill set. We give the scholars this, this, the mind this skill set. And through this, we will learn to be able to hold a connection for 10 minutes to half an hour to up, up, upwards of an hour and a half, which then gives you the full range of which that is asked of us when we're working as mediums. Like I say, if you can't do this for 28 days and hold them for more than 10 minutes, and you have to stay there until you until you do you know you can't cheat this one i've got to be honest with you folks you gotta you gotta stick at it you know you've got to be able to do this now bear in mind that some of you here might think you are a clairvoyant medium you get lots of pictures but actually when you move your awareness to a a, a clear audience or a speaking link it may actually more be more stronger don't go with what you think you are work with this to learn what you are or what your skill set is for spirit you might find here that you're actually a very different medium than you actually thought you were and this is allowing you to explore these skill sets with the spirit world not the psychic parameter we're working diligently with your mind your awarenesses and the spirit world and like I say, so what you also need to do with this one is, is you need to get a timer on your phone. So as soon as you can hear the words, you would then go back the next day or later that day and you would hold that for 10 minutes. The next thing and the next thing that you'll get is on the third session. Um, and I don't want to give you too much because this one's quite, a, uh, it's not a toughie, but it's certainly asking for a dedication to your awarenesses. So I'm going to leave this one with you here. Let me know in the comment boxes how this one works for you. Let me know how you get on with this. Um, I'd really like to hear your insights and, you know, if your, your mediumship is a little different than maybe it has been, you know, if so, why so, you know, how you, if you're getting it first time or if you're struggling a little bit, you know, let me know and we can work together to get the very best from your development. I wish you the best of luck. Remember, folks, only 28 days to build a habit. That's all it takes, 28 days to build an awareness in an area um, which will last you a lifetime, this one, if you master it and master it well. So I'll leave this one with you. Have a great weekend and I will see you all next Sunday live, UK time, 7pm. Have a great day. Bye for now.